I miss my teacher, Miss Snyder, because she um, helps me learn so much, and she helps me learn very important things, and she helps my mind grow. And I would give her all the warm fuzzies in the jar. In the jar. Hi, Miss Snyder. Thank you for being a good teacher, and I miss you. Bye, and I love you. Bye. Hey, Mr. Snyder, I just want to take a minute and say thank you for everything that you're doing for me and my classmates. Thank you for always just checking up on us and just being there for us if we need help with anything. Um, I'm sure I can speak for the rest of my classmates when I say I miss being in your class. But I hope everything's going good with you, and I'm praying for you and your family throughout all this. Just thank you again, and stay safe. Hey, Mr. Snyder, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for everything that you and all the other teachers are doing for us at Mitchell High School. I know it's a very stressful time, not just for us, but for you guys as well, and a very scary time because we've never been through anything like this before. But I'm praying for you and your families. Stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll be back soon. We miss you guys lots, and again, we're just very appreciative of everything that you're doing for us. Thank you, Mr. Hall, for all you're doing. Thank you, Mr. Hall, for all you're doing. Hey, Mr. Hollifield, um, thank you for doing your, all of your hard work, and, and thank you, and thank you for helping us learn, and I love you, and I miss you. Hey, Miss McGraw, I miss you, and I definitely miss our crazy class. I hope you and your family are doing well, and I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I'm praying for you and the rest of the faculty. Peace out. <laughs> Hello there, Janelle Hollifield. Um, can't wait to get get back to class if I ever do. I'll, um, can't, can't wait. To, can't wait to be able to go back to school and show my classmates random videos. Hey, Warren, it's Drew. I just wanted to make this video and tell you how thankful I am to have you as a teacher. Um, I really do enjoy your class. Your class is actually one I'm surprisingly with the, all the idiots in there. I mean, I actually learned something in your class and I can actually take something from it. Um, just thank you for pushing through everyone. I know they're, you've got people who are real disrespectful to you and they're just always talking back to you or whatever. And I just thank you for hanging in there. And uh, I do believe the Lord's put you in that job for a reason. I mean, you've got, obviously he's given you a great heart to be able to stay with it this long. and. Man, just, I don't know, thank you for everything you do. I mean, it goes, people take it for granted, but you really are a great teacher. Hey, Miss Blevins, I really, really miss you. Thank you for helping me with my spelling and reading. Thank you for texting my mom and making sure I'm okay. I hope you feel better soon. I hope, and I hope to see you soon. Love, Kylie. The British Tea Party and how to multiply fractions to be more than three. And I really like the British Tea Party because it was cool to learn history. And I thought that was cool. Your turn, Daisy. I really miss it and I hope I'm at school soon. I just finished my spider and, and here's my puppy. Uh, I just got Friday and I'm going to show you my flip I can do. Here, put her down right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope I'm not school soon. Miss you. Bye. Hi, Miss Peterson. Um, I hope you're doing good. I'm doing my reading. I'm doing my math. I'm doing my spelling. And um, I hope you're doing good. Thanks for being my teacher. And I hope you're baby. I hope your baby's good. And you miss her? Huh? Miss her? Miss, I miss you. You miss all your friends, don't you? And I miss all my friends. Hello, Miss Belmar. I miss you. Hey, Miss McKinnon. I miss you. Thanks for all you're doing. 
Hola, señora Martínez. Te extraño mucho. Es mucho más difícil cuando yo intento aprender español en mi casa sin maestros genial como tú. Muchas gracias para todas las cosas que tú has hecho para mí y muchas otras. Dios te bendiga. Adiós. Hey, Mr. Hall. Hey, Ms. Duncan. Hey, Mr. Hallfield. Hey, Mr. Hall. Hey, Ms. Duncan. We love and miss you guys. Maybe we miss you guys. Hey Coach Schneider, I just uh, want to say that I miss coming to your class. Uh, kind of feels weird not seeing you every other day, apparently. It's weird, I don't get to make jokes with you. But uh, I do miss your class. I hope you and your wife and your kids are doing well during all this. I hope you all are staying safe and quarantined. And uh, I can't wait till you get back until we had to come back and see, see you. Miss you, man. Luke 6, 19 says, And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for power went out from him and healed them all. Elizabeth sees a whole multitude of children, and she always listens. We know God is the healer, but he is using Elizabeth to comfort these children who have many different ailments, many different bugs, sometimes literally bugs, and a lot of times broken hearts. Thank you, Elizabeth, for being God's hands. The children know they can count on you. Hey, Elizabeth. Goes without saying, uh, one of the best co-workers I've ever had. Uh, appreciate all you do. Also goes without saying that uh, a lot of people don't know what all you do at all the school nurses, but uh, I appreciate you. Appreciate what you do for our kids at school and the other side jobs of being the nurse to all the adults around that take advantage of your free labor. Thanks. Miss Sparks, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to say I miss you and I miss having your class. You are definitely one of my favorite teachers that I've ever had. And um, I hope you and your family are doing well. But I just wanted to say that I love and miss you and thank you for everything you've done for me, my brother, my family, and happy Easter. I hope you're having a good day. Anyways, I hope this COVID-19 stuff gets over and I hope we can get back to school. Hey, Mr. Burnett, I just wanted to thank you and all the other Mitchell County School teachers for doing everything you can to help us with remote learning despite how challenging it is. Hi, Ms. Reese. I'd like to say thank you to you and all of the teachers who have stayed strong and positive throughout these crazy times. Life has been super strange for the past few weeks for both teachers and students, and I have the utmost respect for teachers who have had to learn how to teach online. I hope you and your family are staying safe, and I really hope I get to see you again soon, but if I don't, I'd like to let you know how thankful I am that I got to have you as a teacher, and I'm so grateful for all of your hard work. Mr. Hall, thank you for giving us food and a great teacher. Thank you for, for Dan, for, um, um, being a great principal. Mr. Jensen, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done in math class when I was in your class. You are really helpful and I thank you for helping me through the class even though I was having a hard time and never giving up on me. And yeah. 
In Ms. McCurry's internship class, she really uplifts all of her students and tries to encourage them to be their best and helps them realize their passion in life, which she has done for me and for that I will be forever grateful. Thank you, Ms. McCurry. Hey, Mr. McCurry, I miss your class and the life lessons you've told us. Any student would be lucky to have you. Hey, Ms. McCurry, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done during this crazy time, keeping us on schedule and keeping up with assignments. And I just want to say thank you for that, and I hope that you and your family are doing well. Hi, Coach Pittman. Thanks for everything you've done for me. I miss seeing you at school. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Mr. Pittman. I just want to thank you for being such a great role model for the kids in the classroom. Hey, Miss Warren, I miss you, and thank you for answering my emails now that we're not in school, and just thank you for being there. Hey, Miss Warren, thank you for being such an amazing teacher. One of my favorite memories from middle school is being a cheerleader, and you made that so great. You were the best coach we could have ever had. One of the things that I'll always remember about you is how you always encourage us to do our best, no matter what, no matter the obstacle. And even in these circumstances, you're still encouraging us to do our best, and that means the world to me. I could not have done eighth grade without you, and I miss you so much, and I hope we'll be able to come back and finish the year up together. Thank you for an amazing year. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Duncan, just wanted to uh, send a quick thank you for all that you were doing and continuing to do for us as students. Um, staying in contact with us as much as possible and teaching us from home what unfortunately we can't do in person at school and um, just wanted to give you appreciation for continuing to be a teacher even though we aren't in school. Um, I hope you are staying safe and healthy and I hope you have an amazing Easter. Hey, Mr. Duncan, I just wanted to show appreciation and say thank you for virtually teaching us through the internet and trying to educate us just as if we were in school. Thank you for all that you're doing and all your hard work, and I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Hey, Miss Warren, just wanted to let you know how much I miss you and how thankful I am to have you in my life. I don't think I could have made it through middle school without you being there and helping me get through it. Not only are you a wonderful teacher and coach, but you're a wonderful person that's taught me so many things. And I'm sad this is our last year together. I'm going to miss you so much next year in school and in cheer. I hope to see you soon. Okay, so we are here today to talk about one of Beasley's favorite people at Greenlee Primary. Who is that person, Beasley? Mr. Hall. What's Mr. Hall's first name? And what does he do at Greenlee Primary? What does he do at Greenlee Primary? He's the principal. He's the principal, yeah. Do you like Mr. Hall? Yes. Well, how come we're not going to school right now? When are we going to go back to school? Do you know? I don't know when we're going to go back to school. Well, what does Mr. Hall want us to do at home while we're here at home? He wants us to do some walk. Okay. Okay. And I want to ask you something about Mr. Hall. How old is Mr. Hall? I don't know. Just take a guess. How old? 60? You think Mr. Hall is 60? I think that's a pretty good guess. How much money does Mr. Hall make being the principal? I think a thousand. A thousand? A thousand a day or a thousand a year? A thousand a day. A thousand a day? That's a pretty good, um, that's pretty good money, huh? Is Mr. Hall married? Yes. What's his wife's name? And does he have children? Yes. Well, tell me why you like Mr. Hall so well. Um, because, um, because, um, because he, he, he is very nice to the, to the children there. And like, um, I really like him being the principal. You do? Um, 
Okay. Well, you say a message to Mr. Hall and tell him, tell him that you miss him. Okay. And all the other teachers at Greenland, look up here.